I have never stolen a shilling from the people of Kenya, myself. I have never done business with the government of Kenya in my entire life. I believe the next president of this republic must be able to promise Kenyans he will not eat a shilling of their money. And I will not eat a shilling of their money. I have not eaten and I will not eat. And every candidate in this election for president must prove where their money came from and must promise and commit to Kenyans that they will not eat a single shilling. Because Ufi said, Raila Odinga alisema maramingi a fish rots from the head. And the question of corruption Ufi said in Kenya must be dealt with from state house. There's no other way it will change in this country. Kenyans are in dreamland. You are dreaming if you think that will change. It can only change from state house. And that is my core promise to Kenyans. I will not eat a single shilling. Sina helicopter, sitaki helicopter. Yeah? Sitaki kukuja kutupa peza kwa wananchi peza nimeiba. Na kuitupa kuzi ayaya chukua kitu kidogo. Apana. Yeah? The Kenyans must demand from their leader, for, must demand that this thing of eating our money, it's our money. I've been paying tax for 20 years. It's one of the reasons I'm doing this. I work hard, I make good money in Akuliwa. Why am I paying tax? Yeah? So we have to put an end to that. But it is Kenyans who will put an end to that. It is not going to come by magic from heaven. Kenyans will put an end to that by voting wisely. Yeah? And let Kenyans understand if we pick a kura. You are just making the same thing continue. You as a voter. So this is up to Kenyans. Kenyans complain about Ufisadi, Sana. But it is the same, same Kenyans electing these people. That the people of Mount Kenya have come around and said, Neoyo. And the people of Mount Kenya must now do that. Hatuna time. Hatuna time. I think we have maximum two to three weeks to solve this issue. Yeah? Kama watu, and I want to be very clear. Kama watu amlima Kenya waseme to support dugu yangu muturi from Bethe. Tutam support. Yeah? Kama waseme ni mwangi kutoka muranga. Tutam support. Nitam support. Yeah? Kama waseme ni hu, tutam support. My point is wakati imefika kama watu amlima Kenya, we must know tuko wapi. Yeah? We must know how to co-happy. Nimesema mara mingi, kama unai, hapa mlima Kenya, kama unaimba hatu pangwingwi, umesha pangwa. Na watu wa, raia wa mlima Kenya ni lazima waelewe ya kuamba kuna wanasiasa wengi hii nchi wanataka kutupanga. Na tusi jipange, tutapangwa vibaya. Pahali tunaenda. So wakati, wakati imefika sasa kamli makenya tujipangia. Hatuna choice. Yeah? Hatuna choice. And nimel, ninaelewa ya kwamba watu wa mlima Kenya wakuna hasira mingi. Sahi. Maisha ni ngumu. Bay ni juu. Yeah? Farm, farming ni ngumu. Mi nilikuwa livestock, um, chicken farmer. Paka nilifunga that, that uh, I closed the business juu ya, juu ya the price of feet. Yeah? So nimeelewa I understand what wa mlima Kenya wakuna hasira mingi. But tuweke hasira kando na tutumie akili. Pali tumefika sasa kawa watu wa mlima Kenya. Yeah? Tusijipange tutapangwa. Na hii ni message yangu na tena hii ni message kutoka babangu ni kwa vile alisimama 17 juu aliona pali tunaenda. Nimesema kama unaimba Hatu pangwingwi. 
umesha pangwa. Kwanza hapa mlima Kenya. Nataka kusikia watu waimbe wa tujipange. Sia, kuna mtu kwa siasa hii nchi a senior man in the politics of this country anapenda kusema mara mingi amesema siasa ni kujipanga. Eh? Na hii ni ukweli. So hata sisi tujipange. Extremely confused. Kwa maisha yangu yote sijaona this level of confusion kwa mlima Kenya. And in fact I can say kwa mlima Kenya sasa pali tumefika ni state of extreme crisis. Extreme crisis. Ni March 2022. Uchaguzi ni August 2022. Hatuna candidate. Sijui ni lini sisi watu mlima Kenya tulisahau siasa ya hii nchi. Hmm? Mlima Kenya tuliproduce Kenyatta Jomo, Dedan Kimathi, eh, J.M. Kayuki, paka Matiba, paka Rubia, paka Wangari Mathai, paka Kibaki. Tunajua siasa ya inchi, lakini ni kama tumesahau. Yeah? Na nisijui ni, <laughs> ata si, ni, ni, si, ni urogi gani imetuingia. Yeah? So kwa watu wa mlima Kenya wakati imefika sasa tuwe very serious. Yeah? tuwe very serious. Kwa maoni yangu ni kaa watu wa mlima Kenya wanataka udhamaki ya mlima Kenya itoke iende pali elsewhere. Yeah? Na hii sielewi. Hii sielewi. Yeah? Tuko na haki tutoe mtu, tu support mtu kazi ya voters ya mlima Kenya ni kuensure candidates zetu afike the second round. Hizi uchaguzi zitaenda round two rounds. Hata kama hatujaziona before that is where we are going. And the, the voters of Mount Kenya they need to understand that and understand strategically what is our work. Hii about strategy. Siasa ni strategy. Yeah? Na tu kati ya round one na round two tutafanya hizi negotiations between different parties and communities. But for now, that is what I would say to the people of Mount Kenya.